when you have companies that, or whoever, doesn't have to be a company, it can be a can be a university that tells you you need to soil test or you should be soil testing every lawn or there's going to be some fertilizer savings or financial savings or a better lawn because you're soil testing. You better be really careful. You better be real, real careful because there's a really good chance that they don't know what they're talking about. Okay. I'm not here to say there's no value in soil testing. Okay. There are clear cases where there's some value in soil testing, but it's overused. There's too much belief in it that there's, we, that we know what we're talking about, but there's some confidence in these values. We know what they mean. There's, it, it just doesn't exist. When someone wants to throw a couple million dollars, more than a couple million, 10 or $20 million in the world of turf grass soil testing, then we will happily accept it and we will go to work on it. But up to this point, most soil testing information that you get on turf grasses, I should say, have come just from scholars just scrounging up money as wherever they can get it from just to get a little study done. Why? Because the industry is not going to fund the study who sells fertilizer because the results, they are probably convinced, they probably know that the results are going to show that people don't need to buy their products that much. So they're not going to fund it. The associations like the state associations or the national associations, I'm convinced they don't even know there is a problem with soil testing. So whenever proposals go into those associations, they don't fund them. So no one funds this work. It's very difficult to find people to fund this work. And so as a consequence, we don't have much evidence or much confidence in the numbers because there's not a lot of work there.